we're on season two, episode eight, and this one's called Ryan. So guys, I cannot wait to see this next episode for Smallville. Last episode was really good. We saw this deranged woman that went up to Clark and said, you know, claiming that, hey, I'm your mother. That's his, no, 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 no. I get why <laughs> Clark felt the way he felt. Obviously, you can see uh, he, you know, he comforted her at the end of that episode, you know, when obviously she had to accept the truth that, hey, you know, I'm not your son at all. And she was just a hurt woman, period. You know, definitely from Lionel because of, you know, Lionel made her give up her, her child. Obviously, Lionel was thinking about himself. And we did see at the, at the end of a hair. I think that was from his son. I don't know if he's still alive, to be honest. Maybe he lied. Uh, he did say he, he's claiming that he died. But it didn't look like that at all. So I think he's probably still alive somewhere if he's still holding his hair. Maybe. That's just a guess. It was hard for uh, Jonathan to tell the truth to uh, uh, Clark about his past, about what was going on at that time, definitely before he, when he got adopted. Even how he got adopted uh, through uh, Lionel. And Lionel was trying to blackmail him, saying, hey, if you don't do this, I'm going to pretty much expose that that paper's a fraud, the adoption paper. But yeah, anyway, guys, I just cannot wait to see this next episode for Smallville. Uh, of course, you guys already know how I feel about the show. It's just so freaking great. Every episode is great. I've never been disappointed with an episode yet at all. None, I have not been disappointed or even bored with an episode yet. So this like this show is just, just so freaking good. But before this video begins, guys, I want to thank Tom for sponsoring this video through the Patreon page. Make sure you guys go on the page, get the full reaction on there, and also support the channel as well. Other than that, guys, let's get into this next episode for Smallville. All right. Ryan, what am I looking at? Wait, is that Ryan? Ryan. They can read minds? A dog. What color is it? Little What dog. color? Brown. <laughs> He's bleeding. <sighs> you're afraid you're not gonna get all your research done. Get some coagulant. Yes, doctor. How do you get into that situation in the first place? He's in. What do you got there? A coagulant. It's what you asked for, right? Live. Shut up. Smart Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. Good, good for him getting out of there. I don't know how he got in there. Ryan. Oh, it's Carl. Carl Martha. Clark, can you get that? Hello. Clark. You gotta help me. Ryan, is that you? You gotta get me out of here. Whoa, whoa calm down. Where are you? Call Summer Hush, Clark. Please, you gotta get me out of here. Get in there. Get your phone, Ryan. Clark, they're spear mecting out, Clark. What? No, no, help. And that hit me. Stop. Look, go. No, I'm sorry. Oh. Ryan's aunt's phone has been disconnected. And the operator yeah, in okay, City said there's no new listing. When's the last time you heard from Ryan, Clark? Sent me an email a few weeks ago. He was getting ready for school. He seemed real psyched. Mr. Mayor. Thank you for seeing me on such short notice. Always a pleasure, Lex. How can I help you? As you know, LexCorp is in the midst of major plan expansion. This project collapses. It's going to cost Smallville a lot of jobs. I've been friends with your father ever since Luther Corp bought the old uh, cream corn plant. Now that you're running your father's plant, you should learn how business gets done in this town. I'm up for re-election soon. It's my fourth term. Just think of this as the beginning of a long-term relationship. All this man. He'll explain how things work. What? Get the heck out of here. Oh, and uh, imagine how much you'll lose if instruction shuts down. His name is Ryan James. I told you, we have no one here by that name. Check again, I know he's here. I'm not leaving. I want to talk to someone in charge. Mary, is there a problem? Dr. Garner, this young man believes we have a friend of his here under lock and key. Dr. Garner, Clark Kent. We're looking for our friend Ryan James. He called our home from here and said he was being held against his will. Sort of a mistake. We're strictly a research facility. I know he's here. I hope you find him. Liar. Friggin' liar. Oh, we found it. Three. Liar. Hurry up, get him hey, out of here. You're not supposed to be in here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go. Good, got him out of there. There you go, Ryan. How you doing? Okay, thanks to Clark. You know how we can get a hold of your hand? I think she moved to Arizona. How could she just leave you? A couple of months ago, I started getting nosebleeds and headaches. Took me to all kinds of doctors, but no one seemed to know what the problem was. And Dr. Gardner showed up and offered to pay for my care. I appreciate you taking Ryan in. If I took him home, my parents would have freaked. Yeah. Kidnapping has that effect on people. Clark, why did you break him out if they were only keeping him there for observation? They're treating him like a lab rat. It was terrible. Clark, you abducted a minor. Ryan's staying here. 
At least for tonight. Tomorrow I'll talk to my lawyers in Metropolis, see what our options are. Didn't think this through. I saw him hooked up to those wires. I had to do something. So you staged a one-man prison break? How did you manage to get him out without anybody stopping you? Just lucky, I guess. Uh. You're the luckiest guy I've ever met. Mom? Hey, Dad! What's going on? Where's Ryan? He's safe from you. Clark, what did you do? Sheriff. Search every inch of this farm. Wait, you can't do that. They have a search warrant. I don't know how you got him out of Summerhold, but if he's not here by 9 a.m., federal marshals will be crawling all over this place, and your life is going under the microscope. That son of a bitch, man. Ryan. Hey. Oh. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. Please don't let him take me, Clark. Jonathan, Martha, Dr. Garner's agreed to drop the kidnapping charges if you turn over the boy. Ryan's legal guardian, and I have the paperwork denoting such. Please do your job. Come on, doctor. Having custody of a child is not the same thing as having a pink slip to a car. The choice is yours, Mr. and Mrs. Kent. You can lose one boy here today, or both of them. I'm sorry, folks, but... Yeah, the police, you can't do anything, man. You can't do too much. The Lux came right around. Chef! Before you do anything, take a look at this. It's a temporary restraining order giving the Kent's custody of Ryan until the situation can be reviewed. Go ahead. I'll have Clark arrested. You could, but I have a countersuit ready to be filed. Propolis DA is very interested in looking into Summerholt's research practices, especially involving minors held under duress. Your move, Doctor. <laughs> this isn't over. Freaking get him. Your rich friend saved you today, Clark. What a, what a scumbag. Chef. Oh, that's it's sweet. It's your jailbreak right party. We even had the obligatory pistachio log ice cream cake, and we managed to rustle up a band. You knew about this whole time, didn't you? <laughs> Half a block away. Yeah. Just taken yesterday, slowly starts to fade away. Hey, guys. Hey, Pete. <clears throat> Tell your mom thanks. Thanks for what? She co-signed the restraining order with the judge from Metropolis. Imagine getting a phone call from Lex Luthor at 5 in the morning. Hey. How you feeling? Much better. Thanks again for harboring you. My pleasure. I better get to work. See ya. Oh, think I could check out that Warrior Angel collection? It depends. Your hands clean? Warrior Angel. Number one, mint condition. Wow. I have two copies of every issue. One for the collection. And one for reading. Why do you like Warrior Angel so much? I mean, through some tough Just times when I was younger. Be powers. Gotta keep it on the After wall. your mom died? How did you know that? Clark told me. Dude, keep that on the world low. world between these glossy covers was reassuring. You knew who the heroes and villains were. Brian? It's so loud. Oh, no. Lux is going to know about his powers, man. I'm telling you. I know what's wrong with me. I read Dr. Garner's mind. What is it? There's a tumor in my head, Clark. It's getting bigger. I told the doctors. They know. I'm dying, Clark. Oh, God. Are you serious? No one can save me. Term that shrinks primary brain tumors. How can I get in touch with him? That's the problem. His office in Hub City said he's flying to Helsinki this afternoon. He won't be back for six weeks. By that time, it'll be too late. When my mother got sick, I spent all my time researching the best doctors and treatments. But the most important thing I could have done was spend time with her. By the time I realized that, it was too late. I wasn't at her side when she passed. Clark, don't make the same mistake I did. Not gonna let him die, Lex. He's gonna go find him. Why are you gonna run all that way? You seen Dr. Burton? Who? This guy right here. You just missed him, kid. What do you think you're doing? Who are you? My name is Clark Kent. Look, my friend is really sick. Would you take a look at these scans? <laughs> Doctor, please, by the time you get back to Helsinki, it'll be too late. Get your hands in the air now! Doctor, please. Wait a second. Where's your friend now? Mom, Dad, when's Ryan gonna be out of surgery? In a couple of hours. Clark, I don't think...
think I've ever been as proud of you as I am right now. Your brother's right, son. It was an amazing thing that you did. Smallville really afford another four years of Mayor Tate. Damn. Smallville needs an honest mayor. Are you planning on running? No. But I'm putting my support and money behind your opponent. You start a fire, Mayor Tate. You better be prepared to deal with the flames. Yeah, tell him. Oh, he's still there, but he's not gonna make it, probably. The infamous aerodrome, huh? Every year for my birthday, I'd wish my own aerodrome. This is so sad. So I could fly I high believe, I can't believe this. Up there, all my problems would seem so small and far away. I know I said you should be careful of Lex. But I never told you how much he admires you. Ryan. Ryan, what's wrong? It's so loud in here. I'll take you somewhere quiet, right? Oh, the hot air balloon. That's awesome. What do you think? It's peaceful. I thought you were afraid of flying. I want to have you here to protect me. Thanks, Clark. For what? This moment? I don't want you to be angry or sad. It changed my life. You're gonna change a lot of people's lives, Clark. Promise me you'll never give up? I promise. Yeah, I'm so sad for Ryan's God. He's about to be gone. I'm always gonna worry about This is the last time Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Wow, I mean, I just can't believe Ryan's gone. I, I was not expecting that. I That was the last thing I was expecting him to have a tumor. Uh, Clark did try to, you know, he talked to the doctor that was going on the plane. He's about to take off, and they did something. They bought him a few extra days, but at the end of it, he couldn't save him. He couldn't do anything about that. Uh, he you know, he told Clark that, hey, promise me you never give up. You're gonna, you know, change people's lot. You know, change change people's lives. Yeah, I mean, that was just really sad. I was just, I felt so bad, you know. And I just can't believe it. I can't believe they actually killed the character off. I thought he would have maybe stayed a little bit longer, but no, they just it's the end of it. I definitely think that was part, probably one of the saddest episodes so far uh, for season two. That was really sad. It really was. Yeah, Lana and Chloe are gonna be uh, roommates now. Uh, you know, she did tell her parents like, hey, I'm not going. I'm gonna finish at least, you know, high school here. I'll finish with my friends and stuff. Uh, Lana's aunt, it was pretty selfish of, you know, her to like basically try to uproot her out of her life. So, you know, she said, oh, it's important for Dean to, uh, you know, you know, for him, like, huh? I mean, you never consulted with me or anything. Like, what's going on? I have to agree with Lana. Like, they're just kind of you know, trying to drag her like luggage, and it's kind of crazy. I don't know what happened to the doctor or the person who was researching uh, Ryan. Uh, I don't know what happened to him, but hopefully he's not practicing at all. We don't know. But they, it, it didn't really answer that at all. But anyway, guys, uh, please leave a like on this video. Make sure you guys, uh, comment on the video, and also uh, check out the Patreon page to get the full reaction on there, and also support the channel as well. Other than that, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next Smallville.